I chose to study abroad in Buenos Aires, Argentina initially because I saw advertisements to dance abroad and study tango in Argentina, but also with my Spanish minor, I was interested in going to Latin America and experiencing a culture I'd never seen before. Up to the point that I went to Argentina, I'd been studying Spanish for about five years in the classroom setting. Although I learned a lot of the theory and grammatics behind Spanish, I believe that you can never fully engage and understand a language until you're completely immersed in it. One of the most difficult and interesting experiences I made while I was in Argentina was while I was a student, um, I was taking an international relations class and I was the only exchange student and being in an international relations class you talk about the US a lot being the world power that it is. So I was basically the representation of the US to these Argentine students. Sometimes it wasn't a negative light and I learned to see US politics and international relations through a different lens. And also I had to learn to articulate myself and defend my position in another language. After my semester I did some traveling and I made my way up to Cusco. Um, I was sitting in the main plaza and beforehand I was talking to this um, native woman from Cusco. She's trying to sell me something, like most of the people who are in that plaza. But the trinket she sold me was actually um, a gourd that had carvings of the triology in the Quechua tradition. So the three levels of heaven, hell, and then the middle ground. So she was explaining this to me and all the different animals that represented different deities. And we had a great conversation. I bought the trinket for probably too much, and she left. And then I changed my position in the plaza, and I sat next to this man. And he started asking me how much I paid for the trinket, and he basically told me that I got ripped off. And I was like, well, you can only do so much when you're traveling. Um, but then we went on to talk, and he asked me what I did, and I told him that I had just come from studying in Buenos Aires, and he asked me what I studied. And I told him that I studied international relations. And then he started to go on and say that he was actually the president of a commission that was enacted in Peru to protect the indigenous right of um, people in the Andes Mountains. And I told him how um, working with indigenous people and the protection of their rights was something I was very passionate about. And he ended up giving me his business card. So I learned that just by putting yourself out there and really engaging with the language, this was all in Spanish, that you never know where it may lead you and you just have to be able to jump off that cliff and not be self-conscious about communicating. I think most people know that Americans are stereotyped to be culturally incompetent and insensitive. And knowing that, I think it's our responsibility to take the step and initiate change in that stereotype. And with our world being so globalized and business especially being very globalized, I think it's more than likely that everyone will have to communicate and interact with someone from a different culture. And you can take vacations to foreign lands and stay at a resort, but you don't really understand that culture and those people unless you stay there for an extended period of time and really interact with the locals. And the only way to do that is to travel and to fully immerse yourself in that culture. And this is why global awareness is so important because it is so relevant in our society today.